Surprise, surprise! A surprise upload today. Bet you didn't see this one coming. That's because I didn't even tease this on the Discord. So yeah, welcome to the surprise upload. I have three gargantuan videos in the works right now, so it's going to be a while before those come out. So why not upload a little something small to keep you all entertained while I work on those. Today, I'm going to be ranking every single stories of Legend Boss and Battle Cats from easiest to hardest. Keep in mind that A, this is just my opinion, and B, I'm basing this off the time when I first fought them. Because obviously, if I, re if I were to replay them now, I think only one boss of Stories of Legend will be challenging, and that's going to be our number one pick. Who is that? Well, let's find out. Coming at you with a controversial opinion, the easiest was Red Riding Mina for me. Surprisingly enough, I actually had a much easier time with Mina than any other boss in Battle Cat Stories of Legend. Now I know what you're probably thinking, you're just uber-carried! Of course it's gonna be easy! <laughs> no, I did not uber-carry, I only used one uber in this level. That's how easy it was. All I needed was D'Artagnan and Awakened Bahamut, really. And I mainly relied on Awakened Bahamut, not D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan was just a little extra help against the hyenas and Mina herself, considering she's traitless. So the whole point of this boss is to basically kill her before she kills your base. Since she has enough range to snipe your base from pretty much the entire battlefield, She's a pretty formidable foe, is what I would say if I didn't have Awakened Bahamut or D'Artagnan to help me. Really, I think the biggest threat in this level was the Sunfish, in my opinion. He was definitely a bit annoying, but all in all, nothing more than a small nuisance. Either I got really lucky on my first playthrough, or this boss is ridiculously easy. Anyway, next entry. Coming in at number 4, we have Lil Nyandam, or Lil Nyandam, not sure how to pronounce it. I'll just call this guy Little Devil because I don't really know how to pronounce his name. He was surprisingly very easy to take care of. Taking Little Devil's massive range and serious attack damage into consideration, I thought he would be much harder. However, this guy is probably easy because of my gargantuan amount of anti-red units I have. The Noir was a little bit of an annoyance, but all in all, this boss was really easy to deal with. And considering it's the second story as a legend boss, I guess I can see why. I don't really know what else to say, so I guess I will leave it right here. Charging into third place, we have Yuru Run Wolf. I probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't care. Despite being the first boss of Stories of Legend, this boss was actually incredibly difficult the first time I tried it. Yuru Run herself is enough of a challenge on her own, but the boars and shadow boxer caves that come in swarms are definitely the worst part of this whole level. Don't get me wrong, I can easily beat the stage now, but when I first played it, I was stuck on this level for weeks, maybe even months, I don't remember. But the amount of difficulty I had at this level was absolutely insane. It was mainly because of Yuru Run's fast attack speed and pretty big damage that allowed the Boars and Shadowboxer Ks just to steamroll through the rest of my units and make it to my base faster than Netflix shares dropped in 2022. This fight was grueling for me, but you could probably imagine how happy I was when I finally beat her. And taking the silver medal for hardest boss is Immortal Musashi. Musashi was miles harder than Yuru Run, Lil Devil, or Red Riding Mina. However, he's not really that much of a challenge, if I'm being honest. Really, the only thing to worry about him is the amount of knockbacks he has and his huge attack damage. But because of his sluggish attack rate, I guess that damage isn't really something worth noting. The knockbacks, however, can prove to be crucial in this battle. Because if you push Musashi closer to the base, then that means the enemy base will fire a wave, which can pretty much annihilate all your units if you don't have a wave blocker. The peons in this stage were also pretty easy. Nothing really worth noting for me. Really all I needed was Weed Whacker Cat and Awakened Bahamut, and I could take care of them pretty quickly. If I didn't have Octopus Cat when I played this stage, I don't even think I would have been able to beat this because of the waves. I'd always end up pushing Musashi close to the base by complete accident, and then the enemy base would fire. Octopus Cat would end up saving my ass at the end, but if I didn't have Octopus Cat, I don't even think I would have been able to beat this stage. So, all in all, this level was much harder than the other three, however, not much of a challenge on its own. And surprising no one at all, the hardest stories of Legend Boss is Mecha Bun Bun. Sure, I now realize how easily this stage can be cheesed with Necrodancer or Sanzo, but guess who didn't have Necrodancer or Sanzo when he first played this? My dumbass thought that this was a metal enemy the first time I encountered it, so you could probably imagine my horror when this guy actually didn't die to critical hits. Yeah. So I replayed this level, and it was still incredibly hard. I'll be honest, I did have to rely on Ubers to beat this stage. If I didn't use Ubers, I think I'd still be stuck on the stage to this day. 
Mecha Bun Bun's attack and movement speed is enough to give Usain Bolt some competition. And considering how much damage this guy has, it's pretty scary. This guy is basically just normal Bun Bun, but beefed up in every way possible. Even though I'm decently far at Uncanny Legends right now, I still have trouble with this stage, even without Ubers. It takes a while to stack up the Necrodancers or Sanzo, and yeah, it can still be a bit of a challenge. This boss was... It just feels so much harder if you compare it to the rest of them. While the rest of the bosses were relatively easy for me, this is the only one that remains a consistent challenge, even though I'm much further in the game now than I was when I first played this, and have much better Ubers, units, and true forms. Even now, I still have immense difficulty with this stage. Even the one-star version. I can't imagine what the four-star version of the stage is gonna look like. That's why I'm gonna wait until I have much better specials and much better rares in order to play this. So, there you have it. Once Uncanny Legends is done, and once I finish Uncanny Legends, I'm gonna do the Uncanny Legends bosses ranked. But for now, we're just sticking with Stories of Legend, because that's something I actually beat. I hope you liked this surprise upload. Hopefully, my lazy ass will get back to making content again. But, until then, hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching. The people I want to thank are in the description. No more comments.